From West Hollywood, California, the only news team that doesn't know what's on the teleprompter before they read it. Anyone who laughs or breaks loses points. This is Breaking News. Welcome to Breaking News, the only show where we have no idea what we're about to say and we aren't allowed to smile or laugh. I'm baby ducklings that think their mom is a cat. And I'm the aforementioned cat. Just kidding. I'm on Jane Simpson. Firefighters were called to a uh, to a Vestiva Hills home when Okay, you know, firefighters were called to a Vestiva Hills home when a local man was stuck in a chimney at a family Christmas stunt gone wrong. The man apparently got halfway down the chimney of the the shitty little house, then remembered that he didn't celebrate Christmas, and that scared him for some reason. The firefighters on the scene had to use the jaws of life to absolutely rip that chimney another asshole in an awesome display of firefighter versus chimney. Awesome indeed, baby ducklings. Mm. I can show people a picture later if you give me three days to pull it up on my old ass phone. Oh, I'd love to see that, OJ. If anyone can hear me, I think I'm running out of air. Up next, raisins. Are they really anything? A new report shows that eating just three raisins a day are enough to make you gross to be around. Gross like a greasy teenage cousin that only ever wears the same two threadbare Hot Topic t-shirts. And it's not like he's poor. You're positive he's got other clothes. I guess he's just Tyler being Tyler. Are you not entertained? Well then get ready for entertainment news with Mr. Juicy Cauldron. Hi, Mr. Juicy Cauldron here with this week's entertainment beat. In movie news, a sequel to Saving Private Ryan has finally been greenlit. <laughs> Losing Granddaddy Private Ryan will follow Ryan's bad grandchildren as they find out what to do when Grandpa goes bye-bye. That's right, their papa has ski-daddled, and it's up to them to make a new grandpa out of materials lying around the house. The three grandchildren have one hour each to make the best fake grandpa, after which they face the judges Tom Kuchio and Padma Lakshmi, who will decide which new grandpa they should bring to life with their magic, powerful judge magic. I guess when I said movie news, I lied. This is a reality show on Food Network. <laughs> but can, can I say, mess with the cauldron, you're gonna get the juice. Ouch, ouch, ow. A searing pain just shot through my dick. You gonna get that checked out juice? Get what checked? My oil? Oil of oregano. No, no, no. Justin Bieber and Haley Baldwin reportedly tied the knot this weekend in a small ceremony on Gullah Gullah Island. Justin, dying to be a Cub Scout, had just been working out the... Oh, God. <laughs> Justin, dying to be a Cub Scout, had been working on his knot-tying badge for weeks and finally got Haley to help him cheat on the test just before breaking up with her and buying some fresh Crocs. Shut up, you idiots. We have some breaking news. There's been reports of a moose running through the Mall of America. We go live to Deuce Bigelow, Irish seamstress, on the scene. Thanks, O'Jane. I'm here live at the Mall of America, where the moose is indeed loose. Local authorities must deduce the correct method to boost this loose moose from the mall's very own train caboose. Deuce, have they tried yelling at the moose? Yelling loud things like, get out of here, moose! Or, if you don't leave, I'm gonna call the moose cops! Or maybe something like, you're just a tall deer and everybody knows that! You have to leave! How about yelling, Moose! You're canceled! They've indeed tried yelling all those things. They've also tried calling it an Uber and turning all the open signs to closed. But this moose is one smart goose. I've decided my name is now Mr. Moosey Cauldron. No, wait. Moose Villange. No, wait. Benedodo Camerbunzo. Hey, I'm Rachel now. <laughs> Oh, this just in, they've lost the moose in Build-A-Bear and are just gonna call it a day. That's probably good enough. As we wrap up our newscast, O'Jane has something he wants to share. That's right, baby ducklings. Tonight is my final newscast as co-anchor, co-lead anchor. As I step down from this post, I can't help but remember all the amazing news we've broken and the journalism we've journaled. I speak for everyone when I say, trees? Well, are you sure we can't get you to stay? You've convinced me, I'll stay. My real phone number <laughs> is... 
My real phone number is It's my real phone number. Wonderful. Well, that's all the time we have. This week's loser is, of course, me. Of course. Good night to all our viewers. Good night and good baby ducklings. Whoo! I'm gonna call you now. Yep. I'm gonna. Can. I'm gonna. Uh, I'm gonna call you, our executive producer. <laughs> I'm um, awaiting that call. All right. Amongst others.